balance information. Up, light, push, that's it. Okay, these are happy tears. I have a friend named Kelly who... We're going on our date, We're eating out. Benny is already asleep down here. I think I'm gonna get, when we stand up, I'm very conspicuous. They openly stared, speaking of poop. I did not feel that way for years and years. Good morning. It is Saturday. It's hard because my arthritis needs a lot of activity. My fibro doesn't like it so much. I love clothes that have these hands. I mean, I'm just in love with it. This one cannot stay away from me. It's hysterical. I was just stretched my arms out and he put his right paw on my right hand. It was the sweetest thing. He has no clue what I'm doing. I feel like I done lost it, and I don't even really know the cost yet. But every time fear is on my mind, you remind my soul that I'm free. I know I can't go on my own. You came so I wouldn't have to go it alone. You took the long road so you could show I did 10 minutes of Pilates for abs, and then I went downstairs and I walked. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just finished reading a good bit of your all's comments on my first video. Thank you if you commented. I really do love interacting with you guys. Hello, my Wolfie. How's my boy? How's my boy? Yes, you're doing good. Yes, you were playing with your pigs. You were playing with your pigs. Okay, well, let's go over here. So I am just about to start some dishes. I put a meringue in the oven and I am watching a vlog, Emily Life on Wheels. And Catching up on her vlogs. I'm gonna go head out to the mailbox. I just started getting mail here at my new address. Benny and I are gonna go get that mail. Yay! I'm not gonna put his harness on right now because I think I'll be fine with my cane. And he's got this kind of like a, it's like a leash type of harness on. And I made this, this is paracord. And I, if I pull up, it gives me some balance information. See you in a bit, Dash. Benny, heel. Good boy. Here we go. It is really chilly out here, but there's some sun. So my mom drove on this driveway for the first time today. They just put the driveway in. I guess it's been five days. Monday, they put it in Monday. So they just poured this concrete. You can see it's fresh. They poured it today. They poured the back part and then goes to the road at the right. And you can see that the concrete that was poured here before I moved in now looks old. So this was poured before I moved in. You can see that the <laughs> stark contrast. So you can see they poured this first because that's later than that. He said I can walk on it tomorrow, but tonight I'm not supposed to walk on it. I saw the sunset, it was gorgeous. Benny, right, wait. You can see I live in a mud moat. There's mud all the way around my house. Yay, there is some mail. see the, the new white lines and the so this is what the driveway is looking like right now good boy so you can see I'm using this when I need it I pull up just a little bit good boy any side watch me up light that's it that's it light off good boy yes he wasn't able to do it because it's too tiny but I thought I would have him try anyway so this is so that he could shut the door I forgot to have him do it Dash, did you wait for us? Leave it. Right? Right, so this is what we do on every door. Push! That's it. Yes, good boy. Hi, Dash, good boy. When you have health issues, you never know when you're gonna feel good or bad. And yesterday, I was so sick. My mom had to come over and deal with the builder because I couldn't, and you just kind of lose a day. You're like, what happened? Did I live? Let's see. A bill, a bill, another bill. <laughs> All bills. I'm crying for a good reason. I'm really, these are happy tears. I'm so happy. So I'm watching uh, YouTube on my big TV. I'm gonna show you what I just saw from Emily Life on Wheels. If you aren't watching her channel, you will want to be. Check her out on Instagram too. And Coming on. This so this is what me. she said, which is sweet. And I have a friend named Kelly who recently came back on YouTube uh, after a little bit of a hiatus. I'm really excited for her to start her channel again. Um, 
and I'm gonna leave a link to it down below in the description box so it'll be the only link there so go click it and subscribe and watch her video and tell her that the Emily's Life on Wheels family sent you and go give her some love and support. Thank you guys. Crying there. Oh, thank you, Emily. You're so kind. You're so sweet. It means so much to me that you would say that. So thank you. Emily has always been really gracious to me and she's just a sweet person that has a really big heart. Go check Emily out. If you aren't watching her channel, you should be. Go down in the description. I will have a link to her channel down there. She's a fellow warrior and she should be so proud of herself. Thanks, Em. I am so thankful for you. The one where she just referenced me as sisters by chance, friends by choice. I knew that I was gonna be excited to come back, but I've been isolated for such a long time. Back to doing the dishes. <laughs> Hi, precious. Yes, are you mommy's precious boy? Yeah, precious dog. See, I have a sweet face. Yeah. My lap. Good boy. He's like, I'm not usually like this. <laughs> Benny, give mommy. <laughs> Off. One of the things that Benny has done for me as a service dog that nobody really anticipated, he was really great for me emotionally. So when I started to get a service dog, I was in a lot of denial and I was not dealing with what was going on in my life and what I was experiencing and living through. And so once I got my service dog, he just went into the bedroom by himself. He never does this. What are you doing? What do you have? Give. You found your ball? Is it time to play? Well, you can hold on to it. He dropped that under the bed, which he must have found it. This is my meringue. So we're, mom and I are about to go head out. We're going on our date. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Hey guys, so Mama and I are eating out. We're having a nice, it's 3.30, so we're a little bit uh, early. And Benny is already asleep down here. He's doing amazing. <laughs> like two seconds later. Yes. We literally just got in, so. Ordering food. I think, so we're at Longhorn. I think I'm gonna get. So the bartender told so something that mom started that we do is that we bring glass straws with us out to eat so that we don't have to use their plastic straws. So it has a little cleaner in here and this is the glass straw. Mom and I just finished dinner and uh, mom just went to the bathroom. Once mom comes back, I'll stand up and Benny will come out of the booth. It's a very full restaurant, it's a Saturday night. Usually people are not aware that he's under there, so then we are then the center of attention. I always kind of cherish these last few seconds before we stand up because I'm still anonymous, but when we stand up, I'm very conspicuous. So he's still sleeping, I'll show you him. That was the last moment of me being inconspicuous. I don't know if this is like a, just a local cultural thing, but people in Kentucky stare. They openly stare, they openly look. And I mean, people are interested in service dogs. People look anywhere, but here it just seems to be more, I don't know, rampant. They don't pretend. So it just was so funny when it happened. People are literally turned around in their chairs. You know, there's no pretending that they're not looking. I hear a lot of comments. I try not to make eye contact because people would engage or try to pet him. He was 
really asleep when I woke him up, which was kind of good because he wasn't interested in looking at people. It was a very full restaurant. There were a lot of people in the waiting area. That meant that we were walking through narrow places. Sometimes he likes to smell people, and especially because we were walking by tables, I just didn't want him to smell people. He wouldn't smell a table or anything, but I had to squeeze behind a waitress and he had to squeeze up against, and usually I put hits so that there's good distance between him and people when we walk through a restaurant because I know people don't want to have a dog by their food. And I understand that, <laughs> but there was no way to avoid it. And he was a rock star, like always. And I think a lot of it was because he was just not awake. <laughs> I mean, he's a rock star when he's awake, but I waited too long to wake him up. He really was out of it. So mom and I were just at Kroger, which is a food store if you're not familiar, and we are just leaving it right now. I didn't pull the camera out because it's a Saturday night at Kroger, which was crazy, but Benny did amazing. He was really focused with mom, so sometimes I had to remind him that he was helping me, not mom, because he would walk, you know, pull me really hard, but he did so good. He ignored everyone, and of course, everyone was saying things, which was really nice things, so he did really, really good I'm proud of him and this is where he sits in the car in the back mom got him a, a really fluffy bed which he's sitting on you can't see uh, but he sits there we got some to go and we just got uh, some sweet potatoes and mom got a gift card and a card at the store and we're headed home which it is only 522 so we had mm -hmm. a, a really early dinner <laughs> and good. yeah it was a huge weight oh there was a a big rock right there. Yeah? Yeah, there was a female officer. The dogs just ate. We're gonna go outside because it is beautiful. It's 49 degrees, which may sound cold, but it's actually kind of warm. Go get busy. The sun is setting right now. This is a temporary fence, but look at how gorgeous that is over there. Just, I wanna go walk through that field of, 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 of hay or wheat, whatever that is. It is so pretty and uh, it's just so peaceful. I'm in a castle. I'm a princess in a mud castle because it goes everywhere. This is sod that they laid so that the dogs get busy. I, I don't have anything but love, 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 love. I think he's interested in why I'm looking. He's like, what are you doing, mom? He goes, can we go out there? <laughs> he's looking where I'm looking. Go get busy, Ben. Your brother's pooping, you go poop poop. I've gotta clean up their poop, speaking of poop. It is a gorgeous evening. I wish I could express just how happy I am. My happiness is, <laughs> I just can't even tell you how happy I am. I'm happy that I get to go out and have a dinner with my mom. I could never have done that. Just being able to live near my mom and going to the store and having a service dog help me walk. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I walk around all day feeling thankful. I'm so happy, I feel so happy. And I did not feel that way for years and years. I was so miserable, I didn't realize why I was miserable and it wasn't my health. Yes, my health was really hard. I've been having Meniere's and migraines and all of that, they debilitate me. But my life is not as debilitating because I'm not in that marriage anymore. And that's hard to say that that's true because I stayed in it for a very long time when I should have left but you know God redeems so anyway I gotta pick up their poop then you haven't pooped yet he thinks we're doing something special because I'm walking with the purpose so here is my pooper scooper on my poop I won't show you it <laughs> I don't know if you can see what he's smelling but this was given to me and it's made out of silverware spoons and it's supposed to be a flower and it's funny he's smelling it like a flower look how pretty that is the bucket of poop I'm having a good day vertigo-wise, so. Walking in the possibility. Sometimes I feel like I done lost it, and I don't even really know the cost yet. But every time fear is on my mind, you remind my soul that I'm free. I know I can't go on my own, you came so I wouldn't have to go it alone. You took the long road so you could show me home. Found love better than I've ever known, so now I know that I can say. Shake. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just seeing if your paws are dirty. Good boy. They're just a little wet. No, no dirties. Dashes is never dirty for some reason. Good boys, come on in. Go through. Good boys. All right. Achoo. Achoo. What do you chew about? 
I love you. Good boys. <laughs> I am cooking. Cooking with Kelly. Yay! That works so much better. Okay, so... Thank goodness Dash was several feet away and Benny is on his bed right now. I don't need him. He's taking a nice, well-deserved nap. I am in the middle of making what I call sweet potato apple raisin bake. And my battery's going in my camera. Bummer. Okay, hold it right there. I mean, for me, it's gonna take time. I have to go find a battery that's charged. For you, it's gonna be a snap. Okay, awesome. It's Saturday night. I've been listening to audio books, basically suspense novels that have romance as a part of them and Christian themes. All of the people, obviously they start out single. And one of the things they say a lot is that one of the hardest things for them to do is to come home after work or to come home after being out because it's so lonely. I was just feeling that. I'm okay being alone, but it's not what I want forever. Not that I want to be married right now. I don't, but it would be nice to be dating. It's a Saturday night and I'm lonely and I wouldn't hate cuddling up with somebody and watching a movie you know like that would be really nice i'm a really physically affectionate person so it's hard to not have somebody to hug every day it's just how god made me i really want the man that god wants for me it can't hurt to develop friendship i'm ready for that any good relationship is is really based on friends anyway something that's really important to me is that my chronic health issues aren't what people see first that they see other things first and that goes for anybody not just a man so this is some apple whoa a teaspoon of cinnamon so about a cup and a little bit more <laughs> all of this is cooked down and gotten soft well that is cooling down for just a little bit i made this kind of slurry it's got eight eggs cinnamon, vanilla, and maple syrup in it. I'm just gonna flatten it out. I kind of start in the center. I put a lot more egg in than they call for. They actually put the maximum that it calls for. I like to make sure that I've got egg everywhere. That way egg kind of permeates the whole thing. Do one more flat in here. All right, I'm gonna put this into the oven. I'm gonna turn on my alarm on my phone for 350, <laughs> for 20 minutes. I have it at 335 degrees. It's usually cooked by then. Did it bite back? <laughs> Oh, this one's biting back. What are you looking at then? That can't be very interesting. Oh, oh, I see. That's what you have. All right, so my uh, dish is done. It's time to take out. It's kind of poofy here. So yeah, this is definitely cooked. This might be actually a little bit overcooked. Next time I might do a little bit less. I'm gonna let it cool before I cut it up because I found that when I let it cool, although I might stick my knife in there. There we go. That way it's not still cooking. So I usually cut pie pieces, but that's been hard to store. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut rectangles. You were always in it for the long ride. Even when it felt like it's a long time. My piece. Even when it felt like it's a long time. Lord, I know that you were always on time. Mm. Oh man, that's good. I love eggy custardy things, so that's why I like this. I love the way that the raisins taste because they're cooked and they're warm and plump. It's good cold after it's been in the fridge too. I, li I would always heat it up though because I think that food always tastes better warm. Alton Brown said that. He said that he likes ice cream better warm. I eat ice cream cold though. I'm not that weird. <laughs> Mr. Benner's is sleeping and... Dashi is sleeping. I'm really happy and I'm so thankful. I am thankful for being able to spend time with my mom. I'm thankful for really knowing God in my life. The last 18 months has deepened my faith. It just made a huge difference. I have conversation with him throughout the day. It truly is a relationship, a friendship. I'm just so thankful for everything today. It's so great to have a list of a gajillion things that I'm thankful for and that make me happy. So happy that I feel like I'm gonna cry right now. Thanks for watching this vlog and thanks for being a part of my channel what did you love about today guys i'll see you in my next video remember you're not alone i love you guys
Used to think I had to do it on my own, but I'm never alone now.